is an Australian Defense Force combat ration one man, or the CR-1M. Weighing in at 4 pounds and containing approximately 3,500 calories, this 24-hour ration has an impressive balance between lightweight and calorie dense. Check this out. In 2016 here, which by the way, this one's pretty much just under a year old, they changed the packaging style. So this is the new look of the CR-1M. So let's check this out. Right off the bat, we've got some green seas tuna and some freeze-dried rice. Oh, look at this. A fruit cake. Hey, check that out. That's pretty neat. Some currants and golden raisins. Not bad. Alright, what's this? Oh, that's just some shelf-stable bread. Wonder what that's gonna be like. Got some drink mixes. Well, that's non-dairy creamer. This is a tropical sports drink. Some sweetened condensed milk, 85 gram tube. That's decent. Some lifesavers, Pepo Mint. <laughs> All right, got some plum jam. Nice little 26 gram tube. And also a 15 gram tube of yeast extract. So that's going to be some Vegemite, essentially. Oh, cool. Here we go. A chocolate ration bar that doesn't feel like it'll be bloomed, which a lot of these are just bloated with fat bloom. These uh, chocolate bars for a CR1M usually are the first thing to go. We'll see how that one's looking, just being under a year old. Some M&Ms. That's always a staple classic of a CR1M. And also that processed cheddar cheese, Bega, since 1899 classic. It's well within date. Decent. Looks like we got a little, oh hey, blueberry and apple cereal bar. That's gonna be good. What else we got here? Such a amazing variety of contents. Creamy chicken soup, 30 grams. Now here's one of those retort pouches. What do we got here? Moroccan lamb. Hey, that sounds amazing. Look at those ingredients. I cannot wait to try that out. The CR1M was first produced in 1982. Here's another one, Hardy Beef Stew. And they um, they had cans like the Sea Ration for the longest time for their mains. And we checked one out that was produced in 2000. They took those cans and changed them over to those thermostabilized retort pouches in 2002. Now check that out. Chocolate drink, 40 grams. They caught up with the times finally in 2002 with the retort pouches really cut down on the weight and now this thing is less bulky than ever you got some natural muesli with fruits and seeds 90 gram pack perfect for breakfast all right here's another staple classic of the CR1M noodles it's noodles with a nice variety of seasonings I wonder if it comes with the chili sauce fried shallots and all of that we'll see how that's looking and we got some toilet paper or napkins, nice little pack of what feels to be like the softest toilet paper in a ration. And look at this accessory package. We got drinks. Oh, I can see the Fred, the field ration eating device in there. That little spoon connected to the what is essentially a P38 can opener. And you know, various condiments. We'll be checking that out. Got the best military ration spoon ever made. The most sturdy and incredible spoon. I mean, I'd have to say it actually, this shovel right here outmatches the USMRE spoon by a hair, by a slight hair, because the USMRE spoon is amazing and plentiful. And some Jack Link's peppered steak bar. That's always a classic item. I haven't seen a CR1M without some beef jerky and Jack Link's brand. One other thing that all these CR1Ms have in common is they have a scouring pad to clean your mess kit or anything, really, and some little tube of matches. Nice variety of waterproof and windproof waterproof. That's looking pretty good. Now let's check out what essentially is that accessory packet. You got that field ration eating device. The Fred. It's pretty useful. Nice little P38 bottle opener and a pretty ridiculous makeshift spoon. Probably good for getting that processed cheese out. I'll say that. You get four 7-gram packs of sugar. 
two instant coffees, two tea bags, two packs of sugar-free lemon-lime flavored gum, and some ketchup and Tabasco sauce. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Okay, we're starting the day off right with that natural muesli with fruits and seeds. Got some coffee and tea and a blueberry and apple cereal bar. Alright, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Alright, so let's first start off with that muesli. Oh, that smells fantastic. Like perfectly fresh dry milk and various dried fruit. Get that mixed in a little bit. It always looks a little watery at first, but stuff like this, you let it sit for a minute or two, and it'll start to absorb that and kind of do its thing. All right, let's actually check out those drinks. First with that instant coffee. That's a very light odor, just hardly even there. Pretty fine granule though. That looks good. In that tea bag, Bell brand. Let's check out that fruit cake. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing! Like, it smells like cinnamon and nutmeg. That smells incredible. Look at that, it really looks like an old school MRE fruitcake from like 30 years ago, but actually fresh. Just a weird glistening shelf stable cake. Look at that thing. Oh wow, that is so smooth to touch. That feels like, that's the weirdest, smoothest textured thing. It's like a wet glistening. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I, I, I can't help myself, I gotta try this out. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Immediately, bursting with a flavor of raisins, Nutmeg, cinnamon, has a slight tanginess, it's probably the currants. <laughs> that is a really good, high quality shelf stable fruitcake. That's the kind of thing that you look for on a ration. A weird dessert like that. Let's see how this bread is looking. Oh, that is fluffy. That is the fluffiest shelf stable bread I've ever seen. I don't believe it, look at that. Wow. And it smells really good. A lot of those shelf-stable breads, they smell really weird. That one doesn't. Can't wait to throw a few toppings on that thing. Kind of like just try it on its own, too. Curious to see. So, this is the apple and blueberry bar. That's looking pretty standard. Very light color to it. I mean, it is just so incredibly fresh. Oh, wow, and it just has this tangy apple and blueberry smell that is, you know, with this tuna... I think I'd just be eating it straight out of the pack because it really kind of doesn't go with anything. Oven dried tomato and herb dressing. I suppose it could go with the bread, but there's so many other toppings that probably go better with that bread. I don't know, because you only get one little loaf of bread. You get so many toppings. What do you put on it? The tuna, the sweet and condensed, the plum jam, the cheese. What do you put on it? Definitely going to check this out on its own. It just looks like some pretty decent store-bought tuna. Hmm. It's a very pleasant, not overly canned kind of flavor to it. That's really good. So real quick, I want to check out that sweet and condensed milk. You know, most of the time, it's best just to just enjoy this straight out of the tube. I mean, this has to be one of the best tasting things you could ever have. I mean, mm-hmm. And it, it is... This time, like every time, I mean, it's like actually a lot lighter in color. I've had this stuff before where it's dark because it's oxidized over time. Mm. It has just this perfect creamy milk flavor that you can't get that concentrated sweet milk flavor anywhere else. Here, before I really mix that in on its own, oh wow, that's a great standalone black coffee. It's fantastic, is it? Very bold flavor. This would actually go really well with 12 ounces instead of just eight. Excellent. I'm gonna stir that sweetened condensed milk in a second, but stir a little in to that tea as well. First, I gotta have another little bit on the spoon. This stuff is like milk flavored frosting. <laughs> it's amazing. It's one of the best things 
you could ever taste. And seriously, one of the most appealing parts of a CR1M. Oh wow, now that is smooth. Perfect, smooth, almost like an English breakfast tea. That right there is good stuff. So, I wanna check out the Bega processed cheese. No hiss. That cheese is also very light in appearance, lighter than usual. That's like pretty much white. Huh, try this out right away. That looks great. Mmm, wow, this cheese tastes completely different when it's fresh. It's so smooth. There's no funky smell or flavor to it whatsoever. Hmm, you know, that right there, oh my gosh, that's like, that is the best cheese I have had in a ration. Right there, that is incredible. Or maybe one of them. I think the French RCIR fondue cheese is really up there. So let's check out this um, muesli, which seems to have hydrated like pretty well. If anything, maybe I could have added even more water to it. But for me, that's just right. Check out that pineapple and pumpkin seed. Mm. You know what would be good with this? The sweet and condensed. It's a, it's like not sweet at all. Like, not in the slightest. I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. I'm not going to mess around. Not very sweet on its own. I mean, it's a great just all natural kind of fruit and, you know, oatmeal flavor. But doing this is going to... Uh, Definitely bring the flavors out and give it a whole new dynamic. Oh yeah, that right there. That's the way to go. Mm. Now it tastes like a dessert. This is one of the most delicious things that you can get for a ration breakfast. This muesli with the sweetened condensed milk is like a match made in heaven. Mm. It is the smoothest, creamiest, with the, all the natural fruit and nuts in there. This is just... Mm. The only fruit I could distinctly taste in that whole thing was the pineapple. Mmm, that was amazing. Right there, gotta say. Let's stir up that coffee. See how it's looking with that uh, sweet and condensed milk. Just put a little bit in there. That is some of the best ration coffee. It has a perfect boldness. Mmm, it's like a French roast. That's kind of what that tastes like to me. Incredible. It's smooth, it's bold, it's flavorful. I just want to drink the whole thing like real fast. So let's check out that blueberry apple bar. Hmm. Now that's interesting. That has a slight whole grain crunch to it. Like it's not an overly processed wheat flour that's used. And the fruit is actually kind of dry. Boy, I can't stop eating this either. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I think it's because I'm actually eating fresh food. I'm amazed by it. I want to check out that plum jam with um, some of that bread. Looks like the sweetened condensed milk didn't even make it over to this bread, which I gotta try this bread out on its own. Hmm. Oh wow. That tastes like pizza crust. Whoa. It really tastes like pizza crust through and through. It's amazing. I wonder what the deal is with this. It's gotta have a two year shelf life at the very minimum. And for this bread, to taste that amazing, be that fluffy, wow. <laughs> Real advancements being made in military ration quality of flavor, I gotta say. This is uh, leaps and bounds. The plum jam is incredible. It's tangy, it's sweet, it's flavorful. Mm, I'm surprised that was actually enough jam for the bread. Usually it's the other way around. You don't get enough jam for your crackers or bread with a ration. Nice. With all those sweets, you gotta follow it up with something savory. Mm. And that tuna has the perfect balance of tangy and savory and satisfying. It's not an overly fishy flavor. It is incredibly fresh because it is, but it also tastes it. No fishy flavor to this. An incredible component. I mean, it's just a store-bought thing. Mm. But that technology originated from thermostabilized retort. <sighs> So for store bought, it's about as ration as it gets. I'm starting to feel a little full. Gonna come back with lunch later on today, but I gotta finish this fruit cake first. Now this fruit cake, it's it feels like it it feels like it should be some sort of rubber 
toy or something for a dog. Like it really, the surface is amazing. Totally does not feel like a food, but the smell, the taste. Mm. That's some fine fruit cake. Last bit. Now that hit the spot. And for lunch, we're gonna be having that Moroccan lamb paired up with that freeze-dried rice. I think that's gonna go well with that Moroccan lamb. We'll also be having that sports drink powder, some yeast extract, and we got some Jack Link's peppered steak bar. I think this thing is essentially like one of those staple classics of a um, CR1M along with those M&Ms. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with that sports drink. Oh wow, that has a really strong tropical punch kind of smell to it. And that tea. Nice spill. And now let's check out that fried rice. Because it says here you add 150 milliliters of hot water, allow it to stand for five to 10 minutes. Let's put it up against something here. How about the glass? That works. Real quick, I want to check out this steak bar. Oh, that smells nice and smoky. Pretty standard. You can get that same brand just about anywhere in the U.S. And those M&Ms. You know, I want to check out this tropical drink real quick. While we're waiting for that rice to rehydrate, I want to put that Moroccan lamb on a bed of rice. Mm. This tropical drink, you could add that to a liter of water and it'd still be bursting with flavor. This is amazing. It has one of the best ration drink mixes. It has a high quality, natural pineapple and papaya flavor. It's delicious. It's seriously, I mean, it's chock full of electrolytes, I can tell. It has making my mouth water. Like afterwards, I gotta have another sip. That right there, that's incredible. So now it's time to check out that rice. Pretty sure it's ready. Oh yeah. That's good to go. And now we can check out that Moroccan lamb. Look at the ingredients. Cumin, ginger, salt, pepper, lemon juice, cinnamon, coriander. That's quality. And the smell, genuinely, one of the more complex and pleasing smells in a thermostabilized retort pouch meal. That right there. Ah, oh, the cumin and coriander. For anyone who is a uh, fan of Indian food, this right here is like a real prize. This looks amazing. Look at that, not bad. That right there is a nice sight. So let's first check out this Moroccan lamb. Get a big old bite, a little everything. Oh yeah. Hmm. That lamb tastes incredibly unprocessed. That's the only way I can put it. Very real, perfect, tender cuts of lamb. And those chickpeas, hmm. They're perfectly cooked. They're not too al dente, which is a nice, refreshing approach. A lot of times when you get chickpeas in a ration, they're, uh, they're undercooked. So this here, they're just tender, flavorful. Those chickpeas just absorb. I can taste the ginger and cumin, cinnamon and coriander. So far, this is one of the best rations I've ever had. You even get a little bit of a taste of the U.S. with some M&Ms. You know, they actually do look a little bit different. There is some fat separation. Perfectly fresh M&Ms. How about that beef jerky? Well, this right here Although not incredibly special, it's still a perfect on-the-go, low-fat, high-protein snack. Giving you a little bit of the salt that you need, along with, speaking of which, I gotta check out this yeast extract after this bite here. That Moroccan lamb on rice, 
I gotta get back over to that in a minute before it gets cold. But first, you gotta see. I love Vegemite. So, this right here is just this savory, salty <laughs> delight. It's the only way I can put it. Looks like chocolate, tastes like the foodiest, salty, savory thing you'll ever have in your life. It shocks people. They just don't understand what's going on with their taste buds the first time they try it if they don't know what they're expecting. Mm. But that malty, salted, savory flavor. This right here will replenish your sodium content. It gives you your B vitamins. It's natural. And it's really good for you. You know, seriously, Vegemite yeast extract, is, it, it should be in most, if not all, rations. It's really like having um, salt pills. It's like the same effect, especially in a tropical environment. In conjunction with this tropical, you know, electrolyte beverage base that's really high in sugar. I can imagine, oh wow, that just goes really well with that yeast extract. Just a really interesting combination of flavors here. I mean, this is something interesting with the Jack Links. It's from the U.S. It went into Australia and now it's come back to the U.S. It's pretty much traveled the world. This Moroccan lamb, I think it would be Something that would just be such a nice addition to the USMRE's roster of menus. I guess I can't really count on it. Closest thing would be like a Jelfrazi with lamb, halal MRE or something. You know, you can get those on eBay every now and again. But this, I gotta thank Spot87 and Old Smokey for hooking me up with this thing. Mm. So let's check out that tea. I think it's steeped for probably about maybe five or six minutes. Let's first get one more bite of this. That Moroccan lamb on the rice, that was the way to go. So let's check this out. No creamer, but with a whole bunch of sugar. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a nice midday caffeine boost. That's the way to go. Decadent. In conjunction with this Moroccan lamb, which is kind of oily, but like, it's, I think it has 38 grams of protein or something in it, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and it's a... Uh, just another hit. Doesn't need any seasoning. You know, the thing about this yeast extract, if you know what you're getting yourself into, it's really not that bad. Actually, it's pretty nice. It has this malted, salty, savory kind of flavor. I swear you can't get this anywhere else other than uh, Marmite. Vegemite and Marmite. Yeast extract is amazing. You know, it's chock full of B vitamins. You need this stuff. I've had a few different Sear 1Ms, but this is the best one I've had yet. That Moroccan lamb was slamming. Now that sugar-free gum, lime flavor. I wonder, um, what kind of sweeteners do they use? 951 and 950? What does that mean? There is xylitol and malitol and sorbitol. That can get things moving if you chew enough of it. But with four pieces, I think we'll be alright. Let's try one out. Oh wow. That's a really good, refreshing, palate-cleaning lime. I did not expect that at all. Oh, that tastes like a fruit snack. That's the best modern military ration gum I ever had. Now, granted, it's not touching old-school chiclets. For modern-day stuff, it's this and the Norwegian gum and Polish. I just want to chew all four of them because of that flavor. Oh, wow. <laughs> that gum is delicious. And we'll just be having this and a couple lemon M's for the rest of lunch here, and pretty soon I'll be taking it over to dinner. That Moroccan lamb was pretty decent. And if this hearty beef stew is anything like it, which I have a feeling it will be, check out those ingredients. Not bad. Ginger, garlic, brown sugar, looking pretty good. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay. Let's first start off with that creamy chicken soup. This stuff. It says you add it to 250 milliliters. It has a very nice rosemary scent to it. That's looking pretty good. Check out those croutons. That's a nice touch. And let's check out that chocolate drink as well. It has a nice foam to it. I gotta check this out on its own. You know, a lot of times, I feel the hot chocolate. 
needs a little kick. Let's see how this one is. Oh wow, that's very sweet. But it's not creamy. When it says like chocolate drink, it's not like a creamy Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Hmm. And for my tastes, it calls for one thing. Well, two things. That'll liven things up. It tasted like some really decent kind of watery hot chocolate before. But now it's going to be some pretty decent creamy mocha. Well, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, and it is. That non-dairy creamer, they give you huh, an equivalence of like in a USMRE, what was probably like three packs. That right there, that is sheer decadence. That's an intense chocolate flavor. So let's check out the noodles. Oh cool, look, flavor packs, like multiple ones. So on the back here it does, it's we've got a sweet soy sauce, chili sauce, and fried shallot. That right there is really cool. <laughs> you got two packets here. That's something, I'm gonna douse this in everything. That looks like just a, just enough water right there. I have a feeling that'll, that'll do the trick. Nice. Yeah, so these packs. Let's see <laughs> what's in each of these. So this first one, I think those are the fried shallots. It smells like fried onion. And it's just this savory, delicious smell. I, I just, oh man, I just want to eat them straight out of the pack. Oh cool, there is something I can just eat straight out of the pack still here. That's some sweet fried oniony flavor. It tastes like fried onions. Let's check this part out. Some more seasoning. Something savory. Again, oh wow. Some savory powder. Mmm. And lightly sweet too. I don't even know what that is. Wow, that tastes like garlic, salt. I'm dousing that in there too. So what's this stuff? The weird soy saucy with whatever that is. Let's check this out here. Oh wow. That's... That's something right there. Hopefully it's not too strong, whatever it is. Let's check out this other one. Oh, that's a sweet and spicy. Oh, wow. All right, we got this last part here, which is like a kind of a tarry soy sauce. Looks pretty strong. Let's douse that in there too. Yeah, sweet soy sauce. Look at that. I even garnished my spoon. Looks pretty gourmet. The spoon part. Looking good. Let's bring it back over to the tray. Nice. So let's check out that main. This is still piping hot. You boil that in the pouch for about five to eight minutes. Stays nice and hot for a while. There's that gusseted bottom to this pouch. Can stand up on its own. That's a great design. Hardy beef stew. 27 grams of protein. I can smell the garlic and ginger right off the bat. That's quality. And that chocolate. Gotta check that out last year. Hey look, even though it's a year old, still has bloom. I've never seen one of these chocolates that's not like, you know, bloomed out. Isn't that something? I mean, he always have bloomed chocolate with um, CR1Ms. Let's see. If we'll be needing that tomato ketchup or Tabasco sauce. Look at those red onions, got carrots, green onion. Hmm. Oh, you can tell that's slow cooked. It has such a pleasant flavor. I'd hate to add tomato ketchup or Tabasco sauce to this fantastic flavor. Although mild, hmm, it's so pleasing. The vegetables, I don't know what it is, it adds this kind of balance with that ginger, which makes it taste sweet at the very least a mild to moderate amount of spicy it's just a very subtle and pleasant dish perfect standalone it doesn't really need anything added to it i'll say that such tender beef the cr1ms their main courses some of the best you can see those oils in the broth it's a fair amount of fat content that really adds to its flavor russian rations 
they benefit from that same thing. The main courses are kind of high in fat, and that really adds to flavor. So let's check out this soup. Mm, those are some amazing croutons, and that is some really good creamy soup. This right here, because it's so fresh, because it definitely has milk ingredients, over time that wouldn't hold up. But right now, that is an awesome instant soup mix. It's savory, it's creamy, it's pleasant. Definitely warm you up on a nice cold rainy night along with these noodles here. Let's check them out with the plethora of seasonings that we added. This should be good. Hmm. This has a very nice natural flavor. I'm not picking up like a ton of MSG or anything, which is definitely a plus. It's just a very, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Hmm. Oh yeah. I think I just ate like half that just now in like two little bites. Oh wow, I just hit a whole bunch of seasoning at the bottom. Hmm. That was an intense little burst of flavor. Wow. Not bad. When you mix all those seasonings into that instant soup, kind of spicy and like strong of onion, which was really good. And that is, mm. when you add that non-dairy creamer, it really gives it a USMRE hot cocoa feel, which is the kind of body I've come to um, acclimate to. But they give you the option. Do you want really creamy hot cocoa or just a standard hot chocolate beverage? Really cool that they do that. That's quality right there. So let's check out that chocolate. You know, this here, isn't that something? Hmm. Yeah, that's a real shame. I have yet to have one of these that's not bloomed. It's just a very sweet, kind of waxy chocolate, milk chocolate. I feel like I'm wasting it, but there's not much you can do with that chocolate. I think that's the weakest part of the ration, sadly. What a surprise. Hopefully these Lifesavers Pepo Mint can, uh, wow, look at those. Hmm. Those have a very, very interesting, strong peppermint smell. Natural, too. Not bad. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a nice little sugar boost and breath mint. Anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. We're old. Alright, cool. See ya.